in the bottom left here is for apprentice esports looking to avenge his teammate from the last series he is the best protoss in na disc and here in the top right his opponent wants to show us that he's something to say in this group playing for Psy Stone Gaming it's Masa and I love casting Masa games do you know why Akon that I love casting Masa games has it something to do with two proxy Rex in the middle of the map no it no it involves corny jokes because because huh. Masa is cornflower anyways uh <laughs> Uh, we got, we have two barracks in the middle of the map here. We're going to have to see what Masa gets done with them. Disc intelligently, not only because he scouts that there is one gas and absolutely nothing in Masa's main base. I say he's building a zealot, but he's not. He's uh, going to... He, he canceled it, and he's building it again. And then okay. Made it. Hmm. He's there sitting in his chair. <laughs> I'm going to make these casters look silly. I mean, I, I do like you just kind of by default build Zealots and then you cancel it last second if you need to, but it looks like Disc maybe had the wrong read on this. Uh, he thought this was some sort of less aggressive proxy, but now the Zealot is, oh, okay, that's a big problem. Shield Ooh. battery will not get up here. Bunker will complete, and this starts to become a world where it is hard now for the Protoss player to keep the natural next. In fact, at this point, as the Bunker one completes and second Bunker is gonna be up pretty soon, uh, this may just be a dead natural nexus right now. So stalkers on the high ground are going to try to have something to say about that. But with the additional range of the bunker, it, it, stalker is going to start struggle to go down the ramp. Uh, so the question now we ask ourselves, the constantist, is where does disc go from here? Now that his natural, I almost want to see him cancel it. He, okay, he's going to proxy on the other side. He's got, he's got murder on the mind. Yeah, that is a uh, definitely the right play. I do like him. Uh, to do this a lot. I do think that getting something on the map is the most important thing. Robo is also something I do like. Getting a World Prism out can also do some uh, pretty good things. And uh, the whole of the production of Masa and his army is right now on the other side of the map. So Terrans don't really have recall. And right now he's uh, flying his first Rex back home. He's getting factory. But, uh, ooh, actually, Masa gets a scout here. That he does, but the question is, it's <laughs> scouting is only one part of it. Whether you can do something about it, that is the true question. Now, it looks like Masa is, okay, yeah, he's still building Marines out of one uh, one barracks, sending the other one back on home. So we're going to have to see what happens here. Uh, with that, well, the, with the Robo back at home with the gateway here on the map, Marines have started to rally back, but there's a second pylon, so... It's not like this is going to go down super quickly. And with this gateway here, we can see quick warp ins immediately from disc. Uh, should he look to do that? But okay, warp prism is or warp gate is now done. Warp prism out on the map. I like this move from disc because he understands that in this game where his opponent has been building stuff on the other side of the map, you get three gate, right? You you have stalkers, you have three gateways. And there we go. Triple warp gate, uh, warp in to deal with these Marines. And he's going to lose one. Oh, no, we disc is just too good disc stalker control is insane he does not lose a single stalker those marines fall and now there isn't really there, there's almost nothing in the main base for masa to defend he's got a cyclone and that is something he should be able to kill this one stalker immediately but now stalkers onto the high ground looking for something and the benefit of knocking that marine down is it now means that there's no vision cyclone does not complete the lock on and now we just wait to see if disc can snowball this appropriately yeah that marine taking one for the team but uh I don't know if that was enough because this is very proactive on the map right now. And uh, with these uh, many stalkers alongside the board prism, it can become really dangerous really fast. The thing that, yeah, you're absolutely, the thing that Masa is looking for right now, he wants to lock on onto the warp prism. If he can do that, if he can prevent the effectively having blink that breaks all other lock ons, that's going to be what he wants here. But now we're going to see the Banshee goes, oh, Cyclone, excuse me. He's going to get the Banshee soon enough. At least he hopes. Banshee goes down. Now there's a tank here as well, but the Stalkers, they're a little bit out of position. It's hard for them to get on top of it. They will anyways. Marines are continuing to fall here. Auto repair on the SCVs is keeping them alive for a while. And SCVs are actually fairly good against Stalkers in low numbers because... Uh, well, they don't attack all that quickly, but it does not matter. Just pulls a rabbit out of a hat. He lost the Nexus. He won the game. GG. 
perfect read by disk, perfect play, perfect execution. There's not really much to say. I do like the attempt of Maza going for the two proxy Rex, and it did feel like disk kind of underestimated what was about to happen, but his answer afterwards was just absolutely flawless. That it was, folks. The uh, the win rate of proxy two or three racks in this tournament is absolutely insane. I never see it win. I'm gonna turn that around a little bit. But we got game two coming up here really soon. Hardwire is going to be the map. Now we know Masa is going to be cheesy as hell. In fact, I'm kind of disappointed in Masa's performance because last season he also came in. No one knew what he was going to do. It's, it's okay, Masa. When he has no expectations, you almost you almost see him do the best. Uh, but he started to grow and grow and grow over the play days, and I'm sure did the same, and he did end up making the playoffs. This does not seem to be that master. This seems to be that master that really uh, is out of the meta and is just trying to take cheap wins because he doesn't feel com comfortable enough to take them in more standard games. But I don't know. Maybe something changes. For now, Hardwire at map two, it's a bit longer of a map. We're gonna, it's going to be interesting to see how this changes how Masa chooses to approach the game. Yeah, definitely. It really did look like this wasn't what he wants to do, not in this stage. Maza used to be, like you were saying, an incredible versatile player. I've seen him do lots of good stuff in pretty much standard normal games. This uh, is looking to me like a, a nerfed Maza who's just trying too hard to be something that he isn't, maybe. I mean, Masa's always been an aggressive player. Like that, that shouldn't surprise anyone. When he's yeah. good, he's aggressive. <laughs> there was that one series where he two racks Scarlet like four times in a row and uh, ended up beating here four one. It was just like okay, <laughs> fine. That has always been who Masa is. But right now, again, it just feels like that is lacking a little bit. His strategies are a little bit too predictable. We're gonna have to see if he has something a little bit different in store. And he doesn't. We already have two SCVs on the map. Game two. In the bottom left now, in the, in the red, he's up one, folks. For Prentis Esports, trying to make sure that he his date with Neeb tomorrow is for first place. He's Disc. Here's the cheesy boy spawning in the top right-hand corner instead, even from Canada. It's a Blue Terran, Massa. If two barracks don't work, my friend, why not make three? Ow. It is a longer map, but uh, this is fairly complicated to scout, to be honest. Oh, of course. Uh, I mean, Disc is going to get a probe in the main base. He says, okay, well, there's nothing here. And also, I see no gas. So he knows it's going to be a more committed pressure. He knows that it's not a re Reaper play is off the table at this point. He knows that any sort of factory play, of course, is off the table. So he's going to say, okay, look, this is some number of a barracks play. Two racks does get that Reaper. It's probably going to be three racks. I, that's got to be his read. And we're going to have to see how he looks to defend. For now, we see a second gateway going down, taking that second gas. No Nexus. And we're going to, once Cybercore goes down, we will see start to see some shield batteries as well, I think, just to make sure they're ready in time. The lack of gas in the scout, and he does rescout that now again. He checks that again. There is still no gas. He knows exactly what this is. It, the question is just really is where it is coming from, and probes are going to get pulled to make sure that this bunker does not complete easily. And uh, well, SCV is being a little annoying right now, but we will see that one SCV go down. La oh, you absolutely trade a probe for two SCVs. The bunker's not up. There's no high ground position. Uh, Masa, he's got to go back to the drawing board, but he, he does not appear to be enough of an artist in this game to truly do that. More SCVs arrive now to try to make something happen, but shield battery is done. We're going to get more stalkers here. Uh, I, I'm not sure that I necessarily believe a Akon, at least not easily. Yeah, I do also have to say a word about this Sim City by Disc. The way he plays his structures, the way it's so easy for him to get stuff done. Look at his gateways go. Like, this has been such a flawless defense again from Disc. <laughs> He's only lost two probes, and he lost the two probes to make sure that bunker did not complete there. It really is not a lot that Masa can do anymore. He's going to lose a couple low Marines, and Disc wisely maybe backs up. We're still not mining gas, by the way. Masa... He's he's running, I guess, a couple Marines home. Now gases go down, but 
there's no transition for Masa in, in this game. This was even more all in, in the previous one. And Disc will find these two barracks. He's going to know most likely that there's a third barracks somewhere else. And it's going to be interesting to see where he, whether he even bothers trying to consistently kill this. And the answer is no. He's not going to try to make him burn down. But there we go. Gateway, or excuse me, I guess a proxy robo this time. How many gateways does he add? He's at two gate. Maybe some immortals out of here. It, it doesn't really seem like it matters all that much anymore because this has been slapped down so hard that at this point, it really is. Just, it's just it's it's just a waiting game to see exactly how quickly Disc is going to kill him. Yeah, right now, Disc clearly toying with his food. He's uh, getting that proxy in the natural of Masa, which is... Uh... Let's call it aggressive because this is uh, this is not something that Masa can deal with. He's getting a factory now, but the Wood Prism will be done even before that factory even finishes. And it's going to be real trouble. There's no Declep, there's no Cyclone, there's absolutely nothing going on for Masa. Yep. He's gonna tap out. Disc gets the series with a 2-0 victory.